Hey YouTube, this is Don Freeman, Donnie D, D Free here, getting back on here. It's been a little over a week, and uh, when I last left off, I was letting y'all know that I was using my margin to uh, handle some car issues. Had to uh, replace the neck in the front and back going into the engine on my on my Lincoln, and it was costly. They had to take off the air intake and all the throttle bodies and all that. <coughs> and so that stuff cost me about 128, no, 100 and, uh, 1,000 and, uh, 200 and some odd dollars or something like that. Cause after the work was done, I had, uh, had a coil go out. So I needed another tune up, but, uh, as you can see it, I did have some income come in during the week, so it's not looking that bad. Um, <clears throat> let's go to the history here. Take a look at the history of uh, those dividends last week. <clears throat> dividends for that week. So as you see, for tonight and tomorrow, I'm still pending like $11. Earlier this week, I got uh, all my uh, yield max payments, but I <coughs> had a problem last week before the ex-dividend date. I sold out of uh, a lot of my AMD, so as you see, I only had $1.47. That was just a bad timing thing. As you see, I got 20 for my uh, ARC Yield Max Fund, uh, 190 for my uh, Coinbase Yield Max, $23 from my Apple Yield Max. At the end of uh, Friday, I had gotten uh, around like $13, $14 from my weekly. Uh, Round, round hill uh, investments and then uh, at the same time when I had to do that work I got $353 from uh, my QQQY uh, defiance fund so all that stuff helped out when in the long run when it came to having to take care of those issues uh going to my spending account I'll just show you how I had to go in here once again if you look at my recent history make some transfers and so as you can see let me show more here made some transfers here and there but the main thing was the first payment there right there uh, Jan uh, July 1st $1,100 and that was to the, my mechanic and so I took some other money out to pay for some things uh And then as uh, I didn't need some of the money I took out, I put it back. I transferred it back to my individual account. And then uh, certainly took some money out for uh, paying for some stuff at Speedway. I think that was a, a, actually an ATM at Speedway. As you see on your spending account, you have all these different ATMs that you can use. I don't know if I showed you guys that before. This right here, uh, you can find the ATM in your area. And, you know, certainly there's plenty, so that's not a big deal when you're trying to take money out. As you see around uh, Springfield, Ohio, there's all kind of different ATMs to use. But, yeah, I want to get on here and 
kind of give y'all an update on how to do that, even though I still got some of my payments. Um, I still look to uh, get some other payments. Again, since it's uh, halfway through the month, I'll get some of those during the week, and then I'll probably get another uh, 13 to 20 dollars from my my round hill investments and then um <clears throat> i did put a lot more money into uh my uh what was it the bitcoin uh from round hill so i got 40 shares of that now which that one usually always has good volatility and will pay you a uh, little over a dollar, sometimes over two dollars a share. I uh, also this week they had a reverse split on uh, my uh, 1869 holdings at EFSH. So I did have a hundred shares of that, and they did like a 13 to 1 reverse split, and then uh. They actually gave me a free share because I had an odd number. And then I bought another share or two the other day. But uh, the reason I keep this is because a year or two ago when they came out, they had a nice dividend yield. And then with all the pressure from uh, interest rates going up, they cut the dividend. And so I'll just be keeping that. And they did the same thing with uh, the Cerro Capital. The uh, SSS right there. Uh, I sold out of that just recently just because I was using some of the money. But um, I'll eventually slowly get that back. And hopefully by the end of the year when they start uh, reverse, uh, you know, uh, taking the uh, interest rates down. You know, if I buy back in, both of those will start uh, bringing back the dividend yield. And that might, you know, show some good growth. But I just wanted to show you guys that I still have all these uh, positions held for uh, cover calls that I sold. And so, you know, I look to uh, on uh, like most of these are on uh, the 19th of July. And so. No matter what happens, if they get called away, I'll use that money in a, another way on some of the ones I already have. Maybe I'll buy back into some of the uh, other ones. But um, I'm looking to expand on my weekly, expand on my uh, yield max uh, for the uh, AMD again, and then also my... Uh, Round Hill Investment Coinbase uh, cover call ETF. And so that's what I'm looking at this week. Just wanted to let y'all know, you know, I'm a little lower than what I was last time I was on here. But I did pay out, you know, $1,100 in one trip. I also went ahead and got some dividends at the same time, which helped cover some of that. If you look at my buying power, as you see, I got out uh, twenty-one and a half thousand dollars in margin. But if you look at my update on my uh, borrowing limit, I'm at twenty-four. So you know, still have a quite a little bit, you know, thirty-five hundred of margin or so that I can use. So I'm not tripping, as you know, like I said, as the dividends come in. Your uh, borrowing limit goes up and, uh, you know, especially if you buy into more ETFs that have low maintenance, uh, check out my uh, playlist. Uh, you know, some of the guys I watch like Ikata, he uh, explains margin and, and, and all that and maintenance a lot better than I would. So, yeah, if you like this content, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and that way you'll always get notified when I drop a video and get updates on what we're doing here. And remember, this is not financial advice. I'm just basically showing you how I'm using the margin and getting ahead and, you know, basically uh, having like a second income coming in. 
So yeah, catch y'all in the next one. Peace.